Hello everyone. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Look what I found. I found a brand new beautiful fowl at Kroger a few days ago. It cost $9. I think this was a very, very good buy. And I have been asked several times to do a video where I convert a new orchid into water culture. So I thought I would do that for you today. So what I've started out with doing is I have my water ready. I have several different sized containers uh, because I don't know how long these roots are going to be once I start working with the plant. And I also have my sterilized scissors there in place. So I'm ready to get started. So welcome to my converting journey here. Okay, here's what the root system looks like on this one. It looks very healthy. It is in moss that doesn't look to be in bad shape. Um, so that's good, but it is packed into this little container. This is one of those uh, liner containers. So what I'm gonna do is, even though the roots are well hydrated, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a very thorough watering. And yes, I can tell that the moss is really packed in there because, as you see, I pour the water in. Ah, there, finally, it starts coming out. When you have new, good moss, it almost immediately starts draining away. Okay. So I do this so that everything gets loosened up. Um, it makes the roots more pliable to work with, which I like. And it also helps to loosen it from the pot, which I'm gonna need a lot of help with because you can see these roots are just like crammed into this little pot. So, okay, I've got a root here. I don't know if that's a good root or not. It kind of looks, it kind of looks damaged here, but I'm gonna to try to do the least amount of damage I possibly can. I don't like to ruin any roots when I repot in moss or bark or when I convert to water culture. So I'm just going to kind of try to loosen it up. It is really packed in there tightly. I can't really push from the bottom very much either. So take your time on this part because I don't like to break anything and this is cemented in. So, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try to just, just do anything you can to try to get it started. And then it seems like at some point, it'll loosen up. Okay, I took my scissors and I just cut. Oh, there we go. I cut through this container. I'm trying really hard not to damage anything, but you can see this thing is just packed in there so tightly. The roots on this one really look good. So I'm just gonna try to peel this away very carefully. And the good thing is the roots are not actually sticking to this liner. That's one thing I do like about these liners is um, they don't stick, the roots don't stick to them very well, which is good. Ha! Huh. All right, that's gone. Now, I've got all this moss. So I'm gonna start carefully getting the big chunks of it out. This is just regular brown basket moss, which I don't like growing orchids in brown, regular brown moss. I really like the New Zealand Spangle moss and the orchid grade premium moss for um, growing, but this stuff, it just suffocates the roots and it breaks down and becomes acidic and then you end up with no roots. Okay, so I'm gonna try to clean this off. I hope that most of this soaks off really easy because I found that when you've got all this moss, pretty much the easiest way to convert them to water culture 
is yes, you do get as much moss as you can from around the plant, but what I like to do is I like to soak it in water and just let all that moss soak off the roots by itself. Um, you don't get tissue damage that way. You don't get any root damage that way. And this one is really packed in with moss. So I'm gonna to continue to work on this and I'm gonna time it and tell you how long it takes me to get all this moss off of these roots. Okay, I've been working for 10 solid minutes and my daughter is standing here with me and we've been picking out moss right and left and she's like, you know, when you get a big piece of moss out of here, it's kind of like when you're eating crab and you get a big piece of crab and you're like, yay. So we've been pulling moss everywhere and that's what we've got. Now all this moss needs to come off. This is what was in there, if you can imagine that. You can see that um, the, the roots are cup shaped um, because it's been in that little cup unable to breathe for who knows how long. But the roots look good. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna water them I have mixed up just a little bit of Epsom salts and CalMac. About, this is about 70 parts per million. So I believe that the Orchiata people are onto something. I think that dolomite that's in their bark, which is a natural source of magnesium and calcium, I believe it keeps the orchids from having so much transplant shock. So that's what I'm watering them with. I'm going to try to get as much of this off as I possibly can because it's really important when you're bare rooting an orchid for water culture to get all this off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this. I wonder which one it's going to be its home. I need to pick one that it's going to actually fit down in. That's not the right one. You have to find the right shape. You have to find the right size. It won't go down in there. And I want something that it will actually be able to set its roots kind of on the bottom. Hmm, what do y'all think? That might be, that might work out. I'm going to think about this one. But I'm going to just fill this with water. And what this is going to do is all of the excess moss that's on these roots, it's going to soak off. You can already tell at the top of the water that some of it's starting to soak off. So I'm going to soak it right below the crown. I'm not going to let this water set, like I'm not going to let the crown of the plant set down in the water, but I'm going to soak it like I'm going to put it in semi-water culture. So I'm going to show you what that kind of looks like. I'm going to fill it up so that everything but the crown is in the water. I'm gonna let that set for a few minutes and I'll be right back and show you what I've got. Okay, this has been setting down in this water for about five minutes and you can tell what's already been soaked off of here. Uh, it just keeps you from having to work so hard. Um, I've been looking at this root system. This right here is a bad root. It, I know it looks green, but do you see how it's loose here and it's loose there? So this one needs to come off. What you need to remember is in water culture, if you have a root like this and you put it down in water culture, this is gonna rot really quickly. And what's gonna happen is it's going to stunt the growth of the rest of the root system. New roots will not grow down in water where there's rot. So you wanna make sure you get all the rotten roots cut. Very important. That will be okay. That won't be down in the water now, so that's good. And I saw one more. This right here, this little root tip right here is brown. That needs to come off as well because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna put it down in water and that little brown tip is going to turn fuzzy on me. And I don't want that, so I'm gonna cut that off as well. A lot of you have asked me, do I just cut the whole thing 
or do I leave the stringy, the little stringy part? You see that little stringy part? I haven't had really um, good luck in keeping this on the plant. It usually just falls off anyway, so I just cut through the whole part of the root. Unless I'm working with a root system that's really not healthy, and then if I can save that part, I do. But I think everything else looks good. So I'm going to continue to soak this and see how much I still see a little bit more moss. Just get all of this off that you can and then try to soak it to see if the rest of it will come off. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I replaced the water after about 10 minutes. I still do have a little bit of moss floating on this fresh water. And I might do this two or three times. Just let it set in the water um, for 15, 20 minutes then drain that off and let it set again, 10 or 15 minutes. Now what I'm gonna do here in about, I'll say 30 minutes, is as you see, the whole root system is really good and hydrated. Everything's green. The, the whole plant is hydrated. So what I'll do is in about an hour after it's set here for this long in all this water, I'm going to let the root system dry overnight. I'll just drain all this, let this set overnight dry. And then tomorrow morning when I wake up, there's going to be a little bit more moss that has come off as well. Then I'll soak the root system again tomorrow morning and I'll set it in full water culture. So I'll show you that, um, I'll show you that segment as well. I'll do a follow-up video on this one. So uh, this one is looking really good. I'm pleased with the way that the root system looks. It's very healthy, so I'm thinking it's gonna do very well in water culture. So uh, we'll talk to you all tomorrow and be highly favored, deeply loved, and greatly blessed.